right, so we're going to use the partial quotient way of figuring out how to solve this division problem. You ready, guys? Yes. Yeah. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to draw a line right down here because I'm going to show parts of the division over here and parts of the division over here. So let's get going. First thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we know what 4 times 1 is. What's 4 times 1, everybody? 4. Of course. What's 4 times 10? 40. 40. And what's 4 times 100? 400. 400. All right, we're going to use that information here. Let's see. I see 4. I want to find something one of these things that's the closest to 921 that I can get to without going over. What do you want to use? What do you want to use? Um, 400. 400. All right, so I'm going to take 400 out of this. In order to take 400 out of this, I need 100 sets of 4. So I'm going to say 100 over here because 100 sets of 4 makes 400. Now what do you want me to do? Everybody. Subtract. Subtract. I'm going to subtract and I get a 1, a 2, and a 5. 921 minus 400 is 521. All right. Can I take another set of 400 out? Yes. Yes. So let's take another set of 400 out. In order to do that, I'm saying 4 times 100 makes 400. What do you want me to do now? Subtract. Of course. And so I'm going to end up with 121. Can I take out another set of 400? No. No, I cannot take out another set of 400. So I'm done with this part. Can I take out 40? Yes. Sure. I'm going to take out one set of 40. 4 times 10 makes 40. So I needed 10 4s in order to take 40 out. When I subtract, I get 1. This is going to make a 0, which is going to make this into a 12. And by the way, could you have just seen that this was 12 minus 4 without doing the borrowing? Yes. Of course you could have. So really, this of course is 120 minus 40. But if we think 12 minus 4, we get 80. Can I take another 40 out? Yes. I sure can. So I'm going to take another set of 40 out. That's 10 sets of 4. So I'll do my subtraction and I get 41. Can I take another set of 40 out? Yes. Absolutely, I can take another set of 40 out. So I'll say 10 times 4 makes 40. And that leaves 1. All right, I certainly can't take another set of 40 out, but can I take 4 out? Yes. No. Ooh, let's look. I have 1 left. Can I take 4 out? No. No, I can't take 4 out. So what does that tell us about this number? It's a remainder. It's a remainder. So I know that my remainder is 1, and in order to find out what my quotient is, I need to take 100 plus 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 and add those all up. Everybody, what's 100 plus 100? 200. Plus 10? 210. Plus another 10? 220. Plus another 10? 230. So this is 230. So I get 230 with a remainder of 1. I can prove it also. I can take my calculator and I can say 921 divided by 4 and I get 230 and 25 hundredths is the same thing as 1 fourth. Just like 1 fourth of a dollar is 25 cents, 25 hundredths is the same thing as 1 fourth. So we see we can do it just like that. Now I suspect, as some people were working on this problem, they wanted to save themselves some time. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, so I have a sneaking suspicion that some people in here 
saved themselves some time by doing this problem a little bit differently. They still thought 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 10 is 40, 4 times 100 is 400. But I noticed that some people, instead of taking out 400, then another 400, guess what some people took out right from the start? 800. They took out 800 because they knew if 100 fours makes 400, then 200 sets of four makes 800. So as I was walking around, I noticed some people did 200. That's a great way of saving yourself some time. Now I've cut out a step. Now I'm down to 121. And guess what I noticed? I noticed that some people didn't go 10 at a time. They didn't take out 40 and then another 40 and then another 40 and then another 40 and then another 40 forever and ever and ever. Instead, guess what they did? They took out how many sets of 40? Three. Three sets of 40, which makes 120. In order to make three sets of 40, we need 30 times 4. If 4 times 10 is 40, then 4 times 30 is 120. Then we end up with 1. People said, nope, you can't take any more out of that, so that's our remainder. When we add these up, we get 230. And so we end up with a quotient of 230 with a remainder of 1. Sound good, everybody? Yes! All right, you are officially masters of partial quotient division. Congratulations.